welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, this is an on the unboxing on deck. <laughs> Mike have all the box ge open on but I can krijg on Valentine's Day. And um <laughs> yeah, sorry dames and here I ik moet het best wel open on but I have it best well gezien and I will gewoon it open on the I um it was op zoek naar um deze a deck, so it says deze and um it is the uh, Amira Love Oracle on Amira.com. Act, I have it seen and when I went to look, I think, yeah, that is what I look for in a um, in a love reading. Very positive. Um, I was very much relieved the first time I have it seen. So, Amira um, um, Love Oracle, Amira.com. Um, okay. This they are um, positive and um, except on the octagon, Amira love orc cards are infused with positive empowerment guidance with the help from your spirit guides. You can use these oracle to assist in making the right choices for a relationship. They are fun to use for personal readings for um, friends and clients. Amira love orc cards are dedicated to love and dating relationships and can be used to ask about anyone loves life <laughs> yeah yeah I now um, it was I, I was on the the phone with my girlfriend I'm like girl I just get this new card deck God and I start I'm like girl I'm putting these down because I am looking at everybody's shit no I was like damn I didn't know you were seeing someone else and you didn't tell me so um it is I love this deck Amira if you're watching I gotta do this for you and it's not a sponsored thing I just do um card decks um this I have another love deck that I've done I find that so wonderful because that was done by European and I'm loving this from uh, um Amira um, Amira Cilion, Amira Cilion, and this is so good. Um, and they can also give insight into your own love life. Okay, um, Amira Cilion is an international psychic medium who is uh, um, renowned for the world prediction and um, personal love relationship and prediction, intuitive messages for business and career choices. Okay. So this is what the deck, the box look like, and I'm loving this. And again, um, I personally think that this, um, this is one of the decks. This is something that I have been waiting on. Okay, she has done a very, very good job. It is something that I have been waiting on. You receive a book. This is what the book looks like. This is definitely what the books look like, and uh, this is the back of the book. And the information about all the cards are in the book, okay? And this is good. All right, I have opened this deck because this was my Valentine's present. <laughs> okay, I, it, was, it was definitely my Valentine's present. I went and I got it exactly on Valentine's Day. It was as if as I was supposed to be receiving this card on Valentine's Day. So the universe always makes things happen like that because I couldn't. And Valentine's Day, I got this deck, and I am loving, loving this deck. Amira, you have done a wonderful, wonderful job. I hope um, to see um, what your new deck is going to be looking um, like. I love this. 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus, 10 plus ladies and gentlemen, I love this deck. Okay, so I'm going to begin with the cards. I, um, I, I, I I've used them because I, I was checking out everybody around me <laughs> so I do use them and um, this is all the card look okay and the first one I pick up doing this so this is going to be a review on this card deck I give it a 10 plus a 10 plus a 10 plus this is what I've been looking for so ladies and gentlemen out there who has been asking for love readings your life is about to be shattered because I'm telling you these cards are so good these cards are so good I was using them for <laughs> these cards are so good okay the first one is true love and this is 
really true love it's not a twin fail and it's not a soulmate this is just true love it's just that someone really cares about you and really loves you and it, it, the, the love is coming from a deep a, 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 a good place but it doesn't have to be a twin flame or a soulmate relationship it can just someone that is on your journey who loves you as a brother or a sister it could be a relationship that turns into a brother or a sister relationship but it is a true love relationship okay so this is good this is my intuition this is my um, feelings as I look at these cards and understand these cards okay so I love this love this so it can be a brother or a sister or someone that just love you not from the physical or the mental but just love you and really have true love for you from a true place okay so that's um, true love then we have the gossip I love these steps when I see the gossip I was like okay thank you and <laughs> thanks for letting me know <laughs> so gossip I love this because this is what we need more in cards because we're still living in Napoleon Bonaparte time we're living the this is what happened people gossip okay so the true love um, could be gossiping um, over someone at this moment so it could be so oh yeah and this is a young male this is a young male the young male okay so there is a story that is coming out I'm gonna be putting them out and then I'm going to give a reading at the end of it so I'm using all the deck because I'm gonna go through all the deck and I'm gonna see so I'm gonna give a reading at the end of this and see how it turns out for you guys then we have the dark man so this is a dark man so um, you have a young man and you have a dark man in the deck I'm loving this deck because it's telling you what type of person it is and this is good I'm loving 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 it okay control okay when control comes up you're going to be known who is controlling a situation you're going to be realizing that someone could be using magic to control a situation mm -hmm. <laughs> now your life is about I love this I love this deck okay so we have control then we have court man now court man is um, it doesn't matter what color this person is but this person is a professional person um, this person work in an office or something like that okay and very professional but he is he's always um, going after all the women you know going after all the women it's like a gigolo this is the gigolo. I think the dark man would have been a gigolo, but depends on how he comes out and what is before him or after him. Okay, so this is what I'm trying to find out. Okay, so we have money. Uh huh. And people can get involved with each other because of money. And this, I so I'm so happy with this deck because that's not what you can see it in the tarot deck but this is like it's gonna come out so if you're involved with someone it's going to come out if the money comes out you're definitely going to know that it's just a relationship that is only based on materialistic needs okay the next card is the um, the uh, burnet um, burnet woman and my hair is burnet so if I'm doing a reading about myself then I will come out or I use the burn it because it's the same color here so um, yeah so I know who this person is okay and this is what I love is because you have all these different facet facility of women now you have the fair hair man so this would be a white Caucasian not white but Caucasian because people are not white I just uh, people are Caucasian okay people are not white people are Caucasian okay so the Caucasian man comes up so you will know whether it's a black man or a Caucasian or a thin man you know that sort of a thing okay so I love this deck I so love this deck so you have the Caucasian man coming out and the brunette then you have the ice or the ice king now the ice king um, this is like someone who cuts through this is like authority you know the, the this is like the Aquarian Gemini or Libran 
Yep. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And then you have the beautiful female. And when I opened this deck, this is the first card that came up in true love. The beautiful female and true love. I opened the deck and the beautiful female and true love. This was the first card that came up. Okay, so this is a beautiful woman. And then it will say what, uh, what type of woman it is. Then we have the karma. Okay, karma. So you know what a relationship is karmatic. And this is what I have been... <sighs> It is a karmatic relationship. It's a relationship of karma. It has karma clearing to do. Okay. So what I'm doing, I'm setting them out, and then I'm going to be doing a reading, which I think I, I always like doing that. Um, like when I have, um, I'm doing this um, unboxing. I always like doing that for some reason. I basically like doing that so I can um, give the message that comes out for this new deck then we have a spiritual group spiritual group spiritual group then we have the energy of spiritual growth okay so this is good then you will know if it's a really a relationship that is going to grow spiritually or is a relationship that is from money love it love it love it <laughs> okay and the harder um, message is that de destiny so you will have relationship that is true relationship that is destined it was a destined relationship okay the relationship was based on destiny so it's a karmatic relationship it has to be um, it was based to destined you were destined to be in this relationship with this person okay I'm kind of pulling it out because I realized that I have more cards and I'm doing like um, a three section because then I'm going to be reading for all the signs I'm going to be reading for all the signs so we have two uh, four six eight I'm going to do eight 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 and see how it is going three times eight and see how that is going so I could give a reading for all the elements okay so we have spiritual growth and then we have destiny it's like this relationship was destined between these two people to happen okay so sometimes people try to break relationship with other people and they don't know that it was destined so the person might go away and the person comes back because it was destined for it to happen then we have open relationship because people do have open relationship um so there we go i love it and then we have freedom and when a relationship has ended some people can feel free or some people can feel trapped or some people can have sadness and some people just feel free and the open relationship is always free it's free to do what you you want to do okay that's the open relationship then we have the work so working woman comes up we have the working woman and that you can see yeah you have the working woman and that is so good then you have the soulmate bam bam <laughs> I so love this I so love this deck I swear to God I was looking at all my oh I was oh my god this deck is so good then we have the past life so the true love would be someone who's coming in from a past life and this true love can be someone who decided to work with you but don't have any uh, connection any um, love connection or anything they can just love you maybe you two came in to have a child together and that was it or maybe you two came in to live together and to work together and that's it but it's a past life situation past love that is coming in then we have the blonde female we have the blonde female so there you go Ooh, I love this card I love this deck and then you have the wallflower the wallflower now this is the wallflower is always the woman who sits at home don't put on makeup don't do anything just you know in a jog suit and a sports suit and not really and, blah, 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 and then 
Uh huh. That's the wallflower. And then her man goes with a woman who works, or this hot, mature woman. And yeah, she's kind of pissed off. But if you look like that, then you know. And let me say that. So anyway, um, mature woman. The energy of the mature woman is here, and this is good. So you have the work woman, you have the blonde, you have the wallflower, and you have the mature woman. Okay. Then the other card that we have here is the dating queen okay the dating queen is these young women who have three and four or five different people they're dating at a time okay they just date they don't they don't want to have a serious relationship this is not a woman that wants to have a serious relationship okay they just date you know they they just date yeah they always have open relationship and it's always about money <laughs> see okay and then we have the twin flame bam the energy of the twin flame okay um so again you have true love you have soulmate and you have twin flame and this is what i've been explaining to people that um there is different types of relationship you have a, 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 a true love relationship which is a relationship that you were in and then all of a sudden it becomes um, brothers and sister but the person still cares about you or you could be married to this person and then it ended but the person still cares about you that sort of a situation okay so I love this love this let's look at the rest of the card we have the obstacles so relationships can have obstacles okay then we have the passion so mm, hot passion so relationship can have obstacles and it can have passion now to true love can come with passion okay then we have the children which I'm so happy thank you so much for making these cards then we have um, past love so you have also past love and these past love can come up as true love and they can come up as soulmate and they can come up as twin flame okay then we have the union which is the marriage so whenever this comes up you know that it's all is either a twin flame or a marriage okay and you could be married to this person in a past lifetime blah 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 new love damn <laughs> okay all right wonderful i'm loving these then you have the travel so you could be traveling for love or he could be traveling and you have the young female now you have the young female Ooh, la, la. and then you have the short-term relationship of the short-term love these are the people who the dating Queens will happen to and the young female because when they find another person who is richer you're out of their gifts so you will know when you're getting a gift which is good <laughs> Then you have the long distance relationships. Mm -hmm. Long distance relationship. Ice Queen, you know who that is. Okay. Aquarius, Gemini, or, or he, he, someone that is just Kai Hard that is just going to mess your relationship up. Then we have communication, a lot of texting, a lot of communication. So um, married women could find out that their husband is always texting someone okay um, then we have the love triangle mm -mm -mm. so you can have two a woman and two men or a man and two women I love these cards I so love them true love comes up and you have true gem so you have true love and you have true gem okay you could think that this is the gem because the first the first one I said it was true love but it wasn't true love it was true gem but you have true gem and true love now true gem that is your children mother that is your first wife that is who brought you and uh, brought you the true gem so I was always talking about true love so let me show you I'll show you um, the difference oh, so this true gem is that love from you know the first time you married to this woman 
and she has your child and no matter what happened you divorce but always always the love of your life always the love of your life okay and the true love you know what's the true love then the other message is fun times fun times fun times so sometimes you can just get in a relationship to have fun sex that's it dating definitely you could be asked out for a date and it would be saying um, oh it could yeah you're dating someone could be that you're dating someone and then you have the friendship the friendship always come with the true gem and the true love the friendship always come with the true gem and the true love I love this deck very wonderful deck family you could um, want to know whether or not the person has a family or they're married yep and the last card I have it is the mature man so we have the mature woman and the mature man okay we have the mature woman and the mature man so we are having different different kinds of women and um, we have the working woman we have the blonde we have the brunette the brunette there she is we have the wallflower and we have the mature woman and we have the woman that just date 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 because all it's all about money for that woman um, the one that date 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 is all about money for her she uh, you know she just date people see what she can get and that's it okay so it's all about money for her so um, whatever the, the mature man and the mature woman this would be an older person okay um, so this would be my 45 years and older okay <laughs> oh my gosh okay so I am gonna do a reading and I love these cards so what I'm doing is the first set I'm gonna do a reading over and then I'm gonna do the second set a reading over the second set okay all right so um we have three and three six so we are going to be doing ash um a shadow reading okay so this is just the first um, reading I'm going to be doing and this is going to be good now it's just going to be a shadow reading just after this deck to see what is happening so <clears throat> what came out the first time is that we have um, the true gem and some of you who are listening to this reading your true gem is uh, um, I'm gonna do out coming in your true gem is a burnet okay your true gem is a burnet so um, you know that this lady is she's mm, you know she has everything she's polished she's good she she carries herself this 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 you know that's your true gem okay I'm doing outside coming in and then we have gossip there is some gossip that is happening and some gossip is happening about money the financial stability of someone there is some gossip you could be also finding out that someone went in a relationship because of money with someone else there is the young male and there is the courting male okay so this could be a love triangle or this guy um, um there is some gossip this guy is gossip over this one because he knows that the person the burnet is his um true gem but this one is in a relationship with her only for money he knows that this person is only in a relationship with her and it has to do with money okay now in the center there is some control issue and this dark man could be in beagling a control issue okay this dark guy could be working for this young man who is reading up the the burnet okay so the young man is reading up the burnet 
and want to find out about the, the guy she's in relationship with. And the Burnett, the guy, actually, the court man, actually is in the relationship because of money with the Burnett. That's why he got in the relationship. So this black guy is reading up the court man for the young man and telling him, look, because the young man think that the Burnett is his true gem. Okay, the, he thinks that the Burnett is his true gem. But what is happening is that he went to this black guy to um, let this guy read up what is going on between these two because he knows that the woman is a true gem. He's, she's not supposed to be with that guy. Okay? And this black guy is going to be doing something, some, some magic or something, so to break the relationship up. Damn. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do the second role and we're dealing with a fair blonde. So this is a mm, this is um that's um uh, uh um mm, a Caucasian and he feels as if he's free from the burn it. You know, he feels as if he's free from the burnet. Okay, he wants his freedom from the burnet. And this this young lady, he wants his freedom. And not really a nice guy. He wants an open relationship. He wants his freedom, and he feels as if he's you know tied down and the rest of it. And he wants an open relationship. Now, bye. Um, and this young man is thinking, oh my God, she's so beautiful. Why she end up with a close up like that? You know, <laughs> He's thinking, oh my God, I just, I know her from a past life. I really want to be with her. How come she get tied up with this guy? You know, that guy is an asshole, you know? And he's, he really wants, he really wants this Burnett because she is the center of attraction. The Burnett, she is the center of attraction, and he wants to be with her. Okay, but the situation is that there is a destiny. There is a destiny for this relation. It's a karmatic situation. This relationship that they are not understanding, because obviously the young man wants the Burnett, but the Burnett is with um someone in courtship, which is a guy that works in the office and wear a suit and um, this young guy young immature guys wants her but what they're not understanding is that she is with this uh, Caucasian guy because it's a karmatic situation and it's karma and spiritual growth they have to go through this relationship to have karma and spiritual growth and he's thinking, oh my God, she's so beautiful. But it has to be, this relationship is a destined relationship. Okay, this is de definitely a destined relationship that has to be happened. That has to happen. It is a destined relationship that has to happen. And he's wondering, you know, why? Because it is his twin flame. It's so weird. It is his twin flame. Now, what I'm seeing is that the working lady, because this Burnett, Burnett, whoever she is, um, she's a working lady. She's very, very sophisticated. She's very strong. She's very good at business. She's a working lady. And um, she is a twin flame to the court man and also... Um, it could be a, a, um, whoever this young man is, he wants her. He thinks she's so beautiful. He knows that she's someone from the past, but someone is getting in between. Now, the soulmate is um, a dater. Now, the soulmate and this, the, the Caucasian man must look for someone who is a dating who who dates a lot okay the dating queen he needs a dating queen he he wants an open relationship he wants freedom okay 
he needs to look for someone who is looking for just dating 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 and he will be perfect that is his soulmate you know and 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 this is it and this is a dating woman that is just looking for money she wants a open relationship and she's dating she's just looking for money that is what he needs he don't needs to be with the burnett because the burnett um the burnett is um can be um a working woman because the burnett is coming up with all in all different forms but the burnett is uh, she wants an open relationship and she's a mature woman who wants a open relationship okay and the courting man is coming up in different forms because he wants an open relationship but he's looking for a soulmate so it's like he's going through this open relationship to find his soulmate and this is just going to be good okay um the destiny is that some people were just destined to have open relationship they want their freedom so it's all about this this woman this burnet she is just um she she wants an open relationship and it's all about destiny she's definitely looking for her twin flame she's like okay i'll see the rest of you but for me i'm looking for my twin flame okay so you know whatever happened that's what where i'm living from my soul soul place past past life relationship has to do with a mature woman okay so this court man has work on a past life relationship with a mature man who, who mature woman whoever she is it's coming from a past life okay and what is transpiring now is that it's as if there is um a sort of a competition between the young um the young male and the courting man now the young male is this fly boy super nice eye car boom boom <laughs> And the courting man is as if Mr. Gigolo. Okay. So the competition is between Mr. Flyman with a nice sports car and Mr. Gigolo. Okay. Flyman, Mr. Gigolo. All right. So now, Mr. Gigolo knows that whoever that burnet is because she is the most important she is the person because she's looking over the reading and this working woman is the same person but sometimes she's a hot saucy passy person and sometimes she is a upstanding respectable working um person who's at work you know who works and she is soulmate to the Caucasian, okay, and a past life with the Caucasian, okay. And I think she should leave it in the past. Um, he thinks of her as a true love, but he wants his freedom. He wants his freedom, and there's this ice man who is intervening. Okay, and whoever this person is, this ice man that is intervening, it's like he wants to break them apart. So there is an, uh, this man could be working magic or it could be justice. It's like he wants to break them apart because, um, and there's a lot of gossip. There's a lot of gossip because there's a lot of gossip and it has to do with this man, this ice man. A lot of gossip, soulmate. A lot of gossip okay now we're looking in the center and we're looking there's definitely um, the Caucasian man um, needs to work on some karma with this beautiful woman and um, and by working on his karma he his spirituality is going to be growing okay that's his situation um, the young man need uh, is having some karmatic situation with a wallflower now the wallflower is his wife yeah wallflower is his wife and he's working out some karmatic situation with her now there is a there is a blonde um, female that is here and 
she and the dark man have a karmatic situation in a past life they come back in this past life to deal with this so whoever this dark man is which is a man of colored I have a situation with this blonde woman okay but this dark man is very controlling that means he's using energy okay he's using energy to control this blonde person it's a karmatic situation okay so I don't really don't know don't know so um Ooh, I love this I love this I love this I love this so the true gem whoever is an Aquarius Gemini or Libra you have a past life with someone okay and it's someone that you were working with it's definitely a past life and you think the world of her because you see her as your true gem so a Gemini Libra or a Gemini Libra or a an Aquarius Gemini or Libra you see her as a true gem because she used to work with you she has a working relationship with you she was working with you but whatever happened there's a gossip this Blanca Blanca Mon is so much gossip he gossip like what and he's gossiping over this woman who is his soulmate with another business working woman okay he's gossiping with a soulmate there's a little gossiper I hate man that gossip god damn it I like men um, 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 that you know you can talk to but whenever you start to gossip so obviously he met someone new and he is damn gossiping over you let the mother effort go sorry bye <laughs> Destin. Okay, so his situation is that this Blanca person went with the born the Burnett because of money. It's all about money, okay? But it's supposed to be a relationship that is destined from karma and spiritual growth for this Blanca person. But he wanted to connect with her for money. And he wants to have freedom so he can date whoever he wants. Now, this is a mature woman, and she's thinking, damn, you can't even pay for my truck. What the fuck? Bye. And, <laughs> and she's like, doo -doo -doo. I'm going to look for my twin flame. Bye, guys. I love this. I love this card deck. It's getting a 10. There is a lot here. I can't wait to be reading for you guys because a lot of stuff is going to be coming out. It's a lot of stuff is going to be coming out. I love this deck. I think it's a beautiful deck. Um, and uh, um, this is just so super cool. So super cool deck. So ladies and gentlemen please share this video and buy this deck because I love it um, what I can advise about people who like to read about their love life you can mess yourself up with this deck because you can see things <laughs> you know, damn bam bam you know but the thing about it with this deck and I, I with this deck you're gonna know when someone is cheating um, and it comes like it, it comes out and then it might not be happening then but down the road you're going to see it okay so i love this deck i love it i give it a 10 plus and please share this video namaste until next time